I already like her a lot, and I'm trying not. I'm trying not to like. I'm like. I'm like. Yo, hold back. Yo, can we just get this podcast started now? And this woman was not lying, so I had to get it on my face. Check our phones, anyways, because we're we're busy people. At the end of the day, you never know what phone calls or what Instagram. You have some narcissistic women out here, and then you have like women that's just here to use you. You won't believe who we have back on today's show. Yes, we have for part two of the first time around because everybody asked after they saw that me and my boyfriend were dating, they were like, wait, did you lot meet on your show? Yes, we did. Welcome back to the show, baby. This time I can say baby because you're actually my man. The last time you sat in that chair, you were actually just my guest on the show and somehow we turned into my partner my boyfriend welcome to the show tyler yahweh um yeah it's crazy how life is even yeah you're like i wake up to you now so it's like crazy like, i know it's you're insane sick. i never expect to be in this position ever like you never know who that person is and it started off of us just doing our career paths in life and Look at us now, like we know each other's, almost know every deep and dark secret of each other. We know each other mannerisms You know now. everything about me, like it's so I funny. met your whole family. <laughs> like, I know, we just did Christmas in London, you lot. We just went to London and he met my whole family, my grandma, my grandpa, my dad, my dad's side of the family, my mom, my mom's side of the family, my siblings. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, your old, kid, my, oh, that's well, cool, yeah. my son. <laughs> oh my God, this has been crazy. Yeah, you're, we, we, we went there. And then I figured out how insane you are. Like, <laughs> Luckily, we were already living together by that point. <laughs> um, One thing I, I can say about this is just God given. It's a blessing to be in a position to know that it, we knew it off probably, we've seen it off a of rip, the energy was just, it was just contagious. Like before we even even hopped on the mics to even talk, we were having time. a full conversation and they were like, yo, can we just get this podcast started now? And you tell the story. I'll let okay, you. so this is really interesting because the question me and Tyler are asked the most, you and me, baby, is how did you lot meet? Like, this is crazy. They see us in the press, they see us in public, they see us on social, everywhere. We're just like NG and Ty, right? And by the way, look, we got our tattoos of each other. I got Tyler Yahweh on my on my wrist, other side. Okay. And he got, look, NG and Ty down the side of his face. Oh my God, that was like week two. Hey, and... Yo, it, it wasn't me that convinced her. So if everybody think I convinced her to get a tattoo, it was not me. No. We woke up and she's like, I'm about to get your name tatted. I'm like, no, you ain't. Yeah, I I don't believe you. I do not believe you at all. You're not going to get my name tatted on you. And no, like, and you know, we have fans that tat our names in our portraits and everything. Like Rager Boy is tatted on so many people. But my name out of everything, I'm like, this is not going to happen today. No, I knew it. And I woke up and I was like, I am having your name on me. And you did. I remember it. You didn't believe me, but I knew like, actually, this is my person for life. And we were supposed to just get matching tattoos. But I was like, she's like, I'm getting your name. I'm like, wait, huh? I'm still like, I love it. I love looking at that every single day. And it just shows the real natural energy and organic and... I don't know. It's just it's love at first sight for sure. It was. Wait, did you know when you first saw me? Were you like, "That's my"? No, I um, didn't. I did. So I was like, as soon as I saw you walk into the studio, I was like, I nudged my producer, who's also one of my best friends, and I was like, ah! I was like, she's also called Natasha, as you know. And I was like, oh my god! I was like, shit! Squeezed her. She knew. She was like, oh, you, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, you're in for one. It was nuts. So how did it happen? I DM'd you. Okay, we're gonna go through the story because everyone wants to know how to find love and like everybody's different. So we're just gonna tell you about what happened. So I DM'd you and I was like, I really want you to come on my show. Zero intention of being with you. I just thought you were gorgeous and I knew my audience would actually learn from you because you're someone Thank who you. you 
That's yeah, welcome. You're very spiritual and like nobody sees that much of you in that way. Like we don't get to see Tyler Yahweh off the stage. We see Tyler Yahweh performing to fucking 25,000 people or performing all the time or like being the rock star you are, but <laughs> who you are as a person, as an intellectual being, you're exceptionally intelligent, you're exceptionally spiritual, you, you wake up to inspire people. Mm -hmm. And I knew that there was a side of you that was like that because I'd seen you in one clip where you're talking about something like that. And I was like, ooh, I was like, he'd be perfect for, for the show. So anyway, I DM you, what happened next? Uh, I didn't see the DM for a minute, I ain't gonna lie. I was like going through my request one day you know, you wake up in the morning, we all check our phones. We're not supposed to be checking our phones, but we check our phones anyways, because we're we're busy people at the end of the day. You never know what phone calls or what Instagram. Phone. I agree. The phone is, don't even, no one can go off about the phone. The yeah. phone is how we met. And the we, phone is like, yeah. So I go through this, my Instagram, and I'm like, who is this woman with 13 million followers? Like, all right, this has got to be important. Like, I look at it, it's a whole voicemail, a voice message. I'm like, listen to it voice sounds beautiful but it was super just like yo i really want you on this podcast and like i just i, lo I know your album just dropped i want to talk about the album i want to talk about the new music that you got out please just hit me back up like i was like i went to her page and it was just bam like motivational as hell like it was so much motivation in there it got me up out of the bed and i went straight to the gym <laughs> I went love that. To, went straight to the gym, which I already go to the gym already, but it made me get up. Like, it was just so much power in your voice, and it was like, this is a boss. Like, and yeah, I would love to come on your podcast and give you some gems. Like, I have a lot of things. This is the life that I chose. Like I said, we like we have our podcast now. The life we chose, and. I love talking about manifestation. All my life dealt with manifestation. I've had a vision board my whole life on my ceiling. As a kid, you can still go in my mom's house and it's right there. And, <clears throat> excuse me. But that right there got me hooked. I was like, yeah, I'm going on there and I'm gonna make sure I make it to this, this podcast. So I hit you up, we set up the timing. You're like, yo, this is perfect timing. Everything went exactly how I was supposed to do it. And then, I guess I pulled up right on time. You wasn't expecting me to pull pull up on time. and it Oh, I was shocked. Like most of the rappers and singers that come on my show are here at least an hour to two late. Most of the people that come on our show, they're like two, like stars in particular, or we go to their homes and it's like, oh shit, we need to like film four hours later. I'm like, yo, I have a flight in four, four and a half hours. What do you mean we're taking more four hours? I was shell shocked. I was like, this guy shows up on time. I was like, that is my kind of guy. I was like, ooh, he looks like that. Like to me, you're the most beautiful man to grace this man, earth. Like there is you. sexy too, baby. Oh shit, there's no man hotter than you. Fuck. <laughs> Oh my God, I was like, get me pregnant. <laughs> Straight off the rip, baby. Straight off the rip. I was like, huh. dang, this is my person. When you know it's your person, you just, oh, you just feel them. So anyway, now you came on the show. Now we were vibing for that whole thing like you were saying before. And then after the show, we just stayed in touch. Like, And that's one thing that was so amazing because I was going through a little thing in my, we're not even gonna talk about that, it doesn't even matter. But I was going through my little healing life journey, whatever it is, I was going through that. And I actually had a flight out of here and you're like, really? And then you just completely shut down. Cause I was hoping we were actually gonna go hang out. I was like, I was ready to go for dinner with you. I was looking at these lot, like I'm, I'm gonna be with this guy all evening. You were like, I'm actually going on a flight to do, mm -mm. and I was like, you what? <laughs> I was like, uh -huh. Boom, 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 like in the Titanic. There's a fucking flood, it's gonna sink. Boom, metal I, gate shots, boom. Cause I, I was really, just, I'm really a, on, I, I didn't come on the show expecting to like, yeah, you're a beautiful female. And like, I didn't want you to think, oh, this guy's like every other guy out here just trying to hit on me or just coming on the podcast to see, cause it's like all this, all this shit is going on in your life. But I'm a very professional person. Like I get straight to the point, get my business done and I'm out of there. Like that was yeah. my whole, that's my whole perception in life in general. Like, But didn't you say your friend who was there was like, oh my God, the camera. No, so my friend AJ, he was sitting right here. 
And he was like, yo, why are you even bringing that up right now? Like, when I walked out the door, he's like, bro, you're dumb. You should never even said that. That girl was totally into you. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> what are you doing right now? I'm was like, bro. Is that fucking obvious? And I, and I was like, for real? Like, I'm like. It wasn't that obvious. And I'm like, I was like, for real? You think so? Like, for real? He's like, man, you don't even understand. I'm like, man, you lying. Like, I'm thinking your life was like. You, I thought you had a man, so like the way you moved, you were like, oh, I got, you had a whole situation going on, but obviously you didn't. And the thing about it that was so dope, you kept in touch with me after that, like two, three days after that, like four, it was like three days after you called me. He's like, how are you? Did you start scripting yet? Did, and I showed you, I posted that I was reading your book on the plane because I started reading your book instantly after you gave it to me. That's what got me because you were actually genuinely reading my book, which showed me above and beyond, you actually liked my work, but B, you were interested in me, but three, my book is about bettering your life, the law of attraction. I knew you weren't a facade, you weren't a phony. I knew you were actually into educating your mind and that's what got me. Mm, that's amazing. I didn't know that, it was, it was the book. No, but really you called me and we just talked, we were just talking about everything. We was talking about life, we was talking about love, we was talking about manifestation, we was talking about just goals in life and it was just natural. And then, you know, we were just back and forth and talking. It wasn't really like crazy. It wasn't trying to do anything. It was just, we were just being grown people, just having organic good, friendship. organic, just having good conversation. And then I wasn't, I was gone for a minute. I was probably gone for like two months. Yeah, you were. I was gone for like two months and you always kept in touch and I always called you and you called me and then like, when I, like you'll call me, I'd be like, I'm gonna call you right back. And you did. And I'll call you right back. And then you call, if I call you, like, I'm gonna call you right back. And you always call me back and we have a little 10, 20 minute conversation. It was not the, it wasn't, it was short, but it wasn't like, but it was a lot of energy in there. And then one day I call you because someone hit me up about a business uh, opposition uh, or a business, a business like for you. Yeah. And you was the first person that thought about my mind. I was like, yo, this woman has amazing energy. Yeah. So yeah, like I was in Florida for like a month. It was like a holiday season, Thanksgiving season and stuff. So I just chilled out there, got my, got my mind right, got my root, went back to the roots and just never, I never forget where I come from. I always do that, you know, sit in my town and just reminisce about everything that I did and where I became and where I started at and look where I'm at. And you still gave me a call. Like, you it was like, yo, I'm checking up on you. Are you okay? When are you back? Let's get dinner. And then I come back, I like, I actually had to leave. I came back and we had a dinner. Like I, by the way, I called the restaurant. I booked a table with security, with everything. You know how I go in? Yeah. The whole thing booked. And then you were like, look, I'm not actually, I've just landed. I'm not gonna have time to get all my shit packed again and go to the airport. And I looked at the genuine time of your flight that you told me. And I was like, he's actually not lying. But I remember feeling really disappointed, like sad that you weren't gonna, we weren't gonna see each other. But I was like, shit. But I remember calling the restaurant. Were you like, thinking like, does he not like fuck with me or something? Yeah, I was <laughs> like, what the, why is he canceled? But no, I. No, nah, I had to go see my mom. I had to go spend time with my, you, my mom. It was the stuff. night before Thanksgiving. Like to be fair, how you came back from that, your follow up game was strong. So nah, like it, I it was after Thanksgiving, you know, it was like a week after Thanksgiving, two weeks after Thanksgiving. I stayed out there for a minute. But you you were really good. Like I could tell it was genuine because like you hit me up after that. Like straight away, you were like, I'm at the airport or whatever. You were like, I'm not. You, you, I don't know. It was really weird. We were like vibing in such a genuine way. And then yeah, you're right. You hit me up about business, which is what really like spiked my interest. Because guys don't call me about business. Like that fucking turns me on. Like if you call me about like business or like i'm gonna help you do that oh my god that's like bigger than a fucking bag like yeah call me about business like that's sexy uh, so you were yeah. like hey do you want to do something at the super bowl i was like oh. i was saying my team like oh my god we were all together and i was like yo did he just say that and we were like yes he did that's what i've been talking about doing something there anyway so it was amazing so that's what then like got us to meet the next day when you hit, we me, up. You hit me up like yo 
I had a, a like a little label event to go to or something like that Christmas event. I don't know what it was, but I had something to go to. And then you had something. You was at an event, and then you're like, "There's another event. You can meet me over here. We can actually link up tonight, like, and just like chop it up. Like, not expecting nothing. Like, we're just hanging out." I walked there, and I'm already shopping when she hit me up. Like, I'm literally at Nordstrom, like, shopping. And I'm like, yeah, I already got this event going on, but, like, if we have time, I'm pulling up. Like, not, like, trying too hard. Like, I'm not trying nothing. Like, I'm like, yo, I don't want you to expect that I'm, like, trying to, like, hit on you or anything. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to just pull up and meet you there. I get there. I, I pull up by myself, and I really don't be pulling up by myself in the situation. It's like, I didn't know what the situation was, so I was like, yo, just I'll be right back. Like, you go do your thing and come back here with my boy Chef. And she gets out the car. I'm wearing a green cardigan. And she's wearing a full green, the same color green outfit. The same color green as me. Fucking like, nuts. No planning. Like, no planning at all. I'm like, w w what are you doing? And Why I haven't even seen you in green since then. Like, it was so unique. Like, that that specific shade of green. It was like lime green. The dress had been custom made for me for the Cartier event. It was like a whole thing. So we walk in an event, and everybody's just drawn to us. Like, drawn. Like, <laughs> it's like, who are you guys? What do you guys do? Like, are y'all dating? I'm like, nah, we just friends. Like, yo, chill. Like, yo, like, we vibing. Yeah. Like, and they're like, oh, so how long y'all been dating for? And we're like, yo, are we, like, radiating like that next to each other? Because, like, I'm holding her dress. I'm helping her out. I'm being a gentleman. That's what you're supposed to do, man. You're supposed to be a gentleman. Supposed to open the door, you're supposed to do things that you sometimes don't want to do, but just do it. That's the little things that matter in life. Mm, love that. You know? Love so that. that happened and we were it just, was just it was just it just happened. Like it was just like we were just vibing so who hard. Who? We both went for it. Yeah, I'd say it was completely mutual mm -hmm. if I'm honest, because I was You were so close to me. I'm like, all right, are you trying to kiss me right now? Like what's it's up? Because everyone was like, Are you two together? Our energy was infectious. <sighs> We, I'd never, I was actually embarrassed because I had like lots of people coming up to me that evening asking for pictures of me. And I was like, oh, I just wanted to be like here genuinely, just like the connect. Yeah. And I was like embarrassed. It was both of us. We were yeah, both. And <laughs> same with you. So it was like, but I knew you were going to have fans anyway because you're like a fucking mega famous artist. But I didn't, hadn't been out with you. So it was, I was like, oh shit, he's actually like got fans. Like he's actually a real person. But I didn't. I, for some reason, was self-conscious of the fact that I was, like, known. So I was like, I don't know. I just kind of, it was such a weird feeling. And then I was like, okay, fuck it. We're just in our elements right now. And then we just kind of drew to each other. And we got a little kiss. It was a little nip. It wasn't something. It wasn't a makeout. But then the it next day, sexy. she was like, she was like, what are you doing? Like, are we going to hang out? I'm like, um, I'm in the studio, like. All right, if you want to pull up to the studio, you can pull up to the studio, but I'm not going no. Like, this is where I'm at for the day. Like, I'm here for the night. If you want to pull up, pull up. And she's like, well, I'm pulling up with no makeup or anything. I'm just going to pull up. I I'm about to eat. I'm about to do this, and I'm coming straight to you. I'm like, for <laughs> real? All right, pull up. So I show up with no makeup, and I'm like. Still look beautiful. Thank you, baby. And I, well, I barely, You don't even need makeup. I barely, yeah, you know, I barely wear it. So I show up at the studio, and I'm like, didn't know what to expect, but I didn't give a fuck. I was just like, no makeup. You were there with fucking Mason from. Oh, yeah, we don't even talk. Okay, yeah, so just. We don't even want to give that up. Artists, and yeah. I was like. Super huge rock band. Wow, wow. I was just like, shit, we're acting like this is so. And then again, we were like magnetized to each other like two magnets we were all over each other sorry about just like we were we were all over each other like addicted and i was like shit this is really fucking real like what we felt last night is still happening and it was just a natural organic like you know me i'm very nonchalant about things and you have a, a lots of energy that i love and it radiates through both of us and it was just it was dope and then I was telling my boy, like, yo, she's fire, bro. Like, I'm, I'm fucking with her vibes. Like, and knowing that I was, in my head, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take my time and wait for somebody. Like, I'm just waiting and enjoy my life right now and just heal and just be. I was in a very positive state of mind at that time. And you came and swooped me off my feet. Like, you ain't going nowhere. You were like, yo, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing the next day? What are you doing the next day? <laughs> 
where are you doing the next day? Like, this it was is a tip for girls out there when you're getting in a relationship or whoever, actually. Can you imagine a life where you effortlessly magnetize your dreams to you? Financial success, the love of your life, the family of your dreams, and everything you've ever dreamed of at your fingertips. With my approach to manifesting, I have a practical method where you use the power of your creative words. It's called scripting. We write in the past tense in a certain way to attract all our desires to us. I've done this. I met my husband in three weeks doing this. I helped myself heal twice. I helped myself get rid of a rash on my body. I have helped myself to elevate myself and get myself out there to so many people. I've changed my bank account number. I've added two zeros onto it. I have created abundance like I could never dream of. The most beautiful homes around the world. And you can do this too, like so many of my clients are currently doing right now. The success stories speak for themselves. I want to show you how to do it. This is for somebody who is ready though. Don't even bother coming unless you are ready to transform your life. If you feel like, oh, I'm on the fence. I don't know. None of this shit really works. Then baby, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for you. This works for somebody who says, I'm ready. I'm ready to try something else. Try using the power of my words. I want to learn in a curriculum. I want to be in a group with other like-minded individuals and I want to win. This is for entrepreneurs who are ready to go to the next level or maybe get out of corporate America and go to the entrepreneurship world. If you're ready, come and join us inside the Scripting Society and I'll see you there. Book up your agenda with your guy, like back to back it. Just absolutely book it up so that you have stuff together. If you're vibing, showing your value. I did that. I was like off the rip. I was like, wait, I have a deal for you on the table. You ready? Took you down now. I was, I was like, like, what do you mean? Like, well, we just met. Like, you, why are you doing all these things? Because I'm not the type to expect nothing for no one. I don't use nobody. And I just genuinely just want to see people win. And like, I'm like, oh, well, you don't have to do that for me. I'm like, chill, just relax. Like, don't do that. She's like, no, I want to do this for you. I want to see you win. And it's like, damn, like, no woman in my life ever even came to me with this energy. I'm always used to women using us and give it like, bringing us down, not like trying to bring your vibes up. And you just gave that energy right away. And I was like, all right. There's something about this right now. This woman is like, I already like her a lot. And I'm trying not, I'm trying not to like, I'm like, I'm like, yo, hold back. Just hold back. You already know how my energy is, babe. Uh -huh. I'm like, I just don't give all, I'm like, wait, hold up. What's He's going on? He's a Gemini. On? I'm like, let me see. I got to see what the flags are in here, you know? There's no, it was no flags on a play at yeah. all. And it was just pure touchdowns from the, the beginning. And, and we never played a game, which was Oh, amazing. I kept it straight up with you, like off the rip. I let you know about everything. I let you know about my life. I, I never, I can tell a fib to you because it's, that's who I am. I have to keep it straight up with everybody around me, no matter who you are. Well, that was interesting because you didn't play a game. I was like, okay, he's a rock star. He's going to have like some kind of bullshit game. Like you have to come here or like not answer my text. And I was like, uh-uh. I think it's because we were friends first with no intention of anything that we knew each other. So, and like, then that night after the studio, it was my boy's birthday. And I'm like, yo, it's my boy's birthday. And we're about to go out. You're like, um, you're like, all right, I'm coming. I'm like, all right, let's go. And then we go to my boy's crib. We think it's just about to be like a little crib situation. And they're like, yo, we're leaving to the club. I'm like, well, I know you don't drink or anything. You already told me you don't do nothing. So you wanna come? Do you wanna come? She's like, yeah, I'll become. I pull up, we go, we go straight to the club. She parties with me, they play my music. She's like, they play your music in here and stuff. She was like, so. Like, I'm like, why is she so like amused about everything? This is normal life. Like, <laughs> it's a normal lifestyle. We're in a fucking club. I haven't been to one for like it, 10 years. It was one of, <laughs> yo, I was like, wait, huh? You never been to a club in 10 years? Like, that's insane to me. That's many. And then she's like, all right, I gotta go. Like, I'm like, still, I'm like, yo, we just got here. She's like, yeah, but I gotta go. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna walk you out. I walked her out. And then I, I walked her to the car. And she got in the car, so she was like, so you're gonna stay here? I'm like, yeah, I'm here with my friends. Like, this is their birthday. She was like, all right, well, be safe tonight, and da da da, I'll call you tomorrow. Then she drove off, and I texted her, yeah, be safe, da 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 da. She said, K. <laughs> I'm like, K? 
the hell? What happened? What did I do? What did I do wrong? I really didn't do nothing wrong, too. Yeah, I, wrong. I really didn't do nothing wrong, to be honest. Because uh, you should have driven me home in my car or just been with me and, like... Well, we just... You got to understand. We just started talking. Like, it wasn't no expectation. I know, but in a woman's my head... Ex my expectations like wasn't sitting here like, oh, this woman wants to be with me right now. Like, I was like, all right, this is, like, this is the start of it. Like I'm a walk. I did a, the g most gentleman thing to do: a uh, artist walking you to the car out the club where people know you, and like I'm walking, no security too. I'm walking you to the car by myself. No artist will ever do that. They'd be like, "All right, peace, walk out, figure it out." Like, oh, get the security to walk you to the car. I'll t text you when you no, get you home. No, you did. You walked me, and that's I walked you thing. like a gentleman to the car. I was impressed by that, but I was like, if we were together and this guy did this, he would get not even K. Oh yeah. <laughs> And you'll call me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we and lived exactly, together. So we're sort of exactly like what she did. She called me in the morning. She's like, wake up. I was hung over. Like, I was like. I was, so we're not, that was a red flag for me, y'all. So no, because the night before, we were drinking. I was drinking hella. We, we were, I was drinking wine. I was on a wine little bender. But normally when someone's hung over and we're meant to go to the beach together, because now I'm on the beach. And I'm like, oh, are you coming? You're like, oh. I literally can't move. I need to go back to bed. And I was like, ooh. I was like, that's a red flag. I was like, I ain't the fucking send you Uber Eats kind of girl. I'm the kind of girl who says, fix your fucking life up. Get out of bed and tell me what the fuck you've done uh, today. I wasn't, I wasn't getting my ass up. I was hurting. I like, know. I was hurting. Okay. Like, I never ha I never get hung over either. How did I get over that and why? Because that's not something Oh, uh, Because I, I told you straight up. I was like, yo, like, I'm chilling at home. It's Sunday. I'm about to vibe out. Let's link up tomorrow. Like, it was Saturday, actually. I was like, let's just link up tomorrow. Go to a farmer's market. Market. like that was I, it and i never and i never and one thing about it a re, another reason it was like i haven't been home in a while like i ne like i was like let me just get my my piece of myself let me just get let me get myself rejuvenated back i woke up feeling way better he's like wow you sound better you look <laughs> like i was like yo i need this time to myself right now and you totally respected that and I give you a lot. Thank you for respecting that. Yeah, know? I did. I remember. Because if you was going through it too, I will give you the same. I'm like, oh, you're good. Like, get your, like, get yourself together. If you're not feeling good, like, make sure you you feeling good. Drink some water. I'm giving you nothing but positive energy, baby. So, it was no red flag it there. Was, it was just, I was not moving out of my room or my house. I was not getting up out of my house at all. So then the next day. I remember your energy was back. We went to the farmer's market and I was like, shit, he's really wholesome. He does normal things. Like, I just didn't know that you would do normal things outside of like clubs, partying. I was like, is he a normal guy? You were the most amazing guy. You put me first all day. Everyone was calling you, trying to meet you. Like, I'm sorry, I've got plans with my girl. Like, I'm busy. I was like, for a girl though, by the way, I count us as dating from the from the Cartier. Like that was it. I off the bat. That's why you crazy as hell, woman. <laughs> we feel like in my eyes, that was it. From that first event is when we were dating from. But in your eyes, it's only when you said you're my girlfriend. Well, yeah, I was like, until we have sex, that's the time where it's like, all right, what are we doing? Like, is this it? Or are we just like, is it just a one night stand? Or what are we doing? You know, it's real. Like, And I also made you wait. Like, I didn't do it on the first night. I didn't do it on the second night. We I didn't, you, you, yeah, you kind of like, you was like, make love to me. Yeah, I was like, I wanted you to make love to me rather than fuck me. So I made a really good point about that. You was on your period, so I'll be honest. <laughs> Be I honest, be honest. Was you was trying to get me home that night. Like, come here right now. Like, <laughs> you was trying to rape me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Natasha knows. So then after that. You see, I caught the bluff off the rip. I was there. We didn't leave each other's sides. To be fair, from the day we met, apart from that one night you were hungover, we did not It was not another leave night I went, I went back home. You're like, why are you going home? Yeah, that was weird. And Wait, did I, you go home one night? Yeah, I went home. I was like, I got to go to my crib. This is where my house is. Like, I need to go get, this is where my clothes is. Did we stuff. FaceTime that night? Yeah, we FaceTime that night. We FaceTime that night. Yes, you did. Yeah, interesting. It was the only night we had a part. And then we've been together since and you would not let me go no separation anxiety is real i love it
I love it too. I want my girl to be clingy, so it's all good. Good. Yeah. Your woman should love you. Baby, this is so funny because like you were sitting on this chair when we started. You're back on the same chair on my show. Everyone's listening to this. This is I know this is going viral. I know people are listening to this is going fucking crazy. We've been in the Daily Mail. We've been in fucking OK Magazine. We've just done a, we've got a fucking cover of a magazine that we're shooting. Like shit happened since then. We became a brand. Hey man, I I I just going with the flow in life and letting God keep blessing and blessing, blessing, can, blessing and blessing. Can, can we talk about relationship for a minute? Like other people, like actually, because you're really good at this. So like, you're somebody who I truly believe a lot of men can learn from. You're such a gentleman. You call it Southern hospitality. And we also together call it the way you've been raised. Like you've been raised beautifully. Yeah, I was raised by an amazing mom and I had beautiful women that raised me. Like my sister, my older sisters, they were always there to show me how to respect a woman. My mom always taught me how to respect a woman. My dad respected my mom in front of me. So it showed you a lot. And you know, I have nieces and that is huge for me, you know, like soon, hopefully we have a kid one day, you know, that's where, that's the life that I want, you know, like I want a family. I want someone that I love and I can genuinely show that love to every single day. And I came across you obviously. And how did you yeah, feel like respecting way? women? It's hard in this industry too, because it's like, you have so many different, you have some narcissistic women out here. And then you have like women that's just here to use you. Then you have women that's talking down on certain men because of their financials or the life that like their business that like just because they have a nine to five job, a girl won't even talk to them. It's just so crazy how like the, the judgment these days. And it goes the same thing with men too. Like, oh, a girl can't have to have a BBL or a girl has to be this type of woman. Like that's just all like, the internet and uh, a fake perception that we just are feeding our brains, which I stay far, far, far yeah. away yeah. from like, and don't get me wrong. I lived a crazy lifestyle. Like I've been around the world three times, like I've seen everything. I've witnessed everything. And knowing that it showed me like, all right, I've done everything that I had to do in my life. I enjoyed it. It was fun as hell. Now it's time. I'm about to be, I'm about to be 30 years old soon. Yeah. She is a little older than me. Don't be mad. Okay. <laughs> don't be mad. Yeah. That means he can get a fucking amazing girl. He's obviously doing shit. Cause as soon as a guy is younger than a girl, the first thing everybody says is, okay, what the fuck does he do? Oh yeah. I'm a boss. That's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> like obviously. And the fact that, uh, he ain't going for a fucking dirty young girl yeah we don't do the thoughts we don't do the thoughts out here you know and i stay far away from those energies and as in men we just gotta like really like know that we're kings and you want a queen that's gonna t treat you like that king you know and i say you got you want a, a goddess that's gonna teach treat you like a god and then you're then y'all both putting your energy together that's gonna be unstoppable and that's the energy that we had off the rip. We just started working. We, we just start, we started motivating each other. We started doing manifestation, journaling, scripting, breath work together, um, talking about goals like off the rip and meeting those goals right away. And a lot of people don't have that energy because they all jealous of each other. Like someone might be doing this and this person might be doing, don't have this and that person's gonna be jealous of that person. And they are gonna be giving themselves like envy and you don't wanna envy the person you're in a relationship. You want that person to be motivated. Yes. Like, yo, if my woman is doing something, I'm there helping her. Like I'm getting her job, like whatever you need. I might be your assistant today. Like I've, you've seen me do it. Like you've seen me do some- you've done like, everything. When you were super busy, I'm like, all right, give me the phone. You go over there. I got this. I'm gonna talk to your team for you. I got you. I'm gonna make sure you close this deal today. And you will do the same thing for me. And if you can't do that, Y'all don't need to be around each other. Y'all don't need to be with each other. Like, and a lot of people are just out here chasing false relationships that they just trying to make themselves happy, which are really not happy. Yeah, no, no, you got it. This is so funny. So we actually, so people who know me and you, part of my scripting society, you know that I stick on my wall all my post-it notes of my dreams. So I stick up 
what I want to achieve. And next to it, so it was like Natasha's area and it was like all of my dreams. And then next to it, because you know, you and I was together, I put Tyler's area. And then in between it was like NG and Ty. And we just started executing on these goals from the get go. So our relationship was building emotionally, but it was also building as a business, as a brand together. It was like, fuck, I want to make him money. He wants to make me money. Let's win. Yeah, let's win. Like, let's fucking win. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want to be draining your shit. I don't want to be telling you like, when are you doing this for me? It's what am I doing for you? And what am I doing for you yeah. to help? Like, it's, it's building that platform and building that empire that's unstoppable. And it's just amazing. I want to show everybody that they can do the same thing. And we talk about this every day. Like, we want to inspire other other relationships out there that we know they're strong they're not giving up on each other so work on it work on this together be together like work on each other motivate each other to be the best whatever career choices y'all y'all do make sure it both matches each other's energy and it grows like a like it just grows it grows and grows and grows and grows and it's unstoppable after it's a big ass empire it is you said something the other day that i loved you said, even after a show, even after you go on stage, whatever, we both do our, whatever we're doing. If we weren't, you know, able to travel with each other, we return to the empire. Yeah. And that really stuck with me because I was like, shit, he's right. Doesn't matter where we go, it's work. We yeah. come home and it's. Yeah, because you're empire. like, damn, you about to go on tour. Like, what am I about to do when he's on tour? Like, definitely you're going to be there, but you got stuff going on too in your life that you can't miss out on. And it's just like, at the end of the day, like, I trust you, you trust me. And I don't, I, I you already know how I am. Like, I'm already like straight to the point. I'm getting my work done and I'm going home. And that's what I like, that's what I have to do. That's what I want to do. Like, I've seen everything already. And it's just amazing, you know, like, it's still, it's still shocking that we're, on a second episode of how we first met. <laughs> the life of NG and Ty. This is so fun. Like, I, And now know. it's a whole brand and they're like, we might be shooting some stuff. We got a little too, you know, you never, I'm not gonna say that. I've got your podcast which just launched. I'm gonna put the link below. The life we chose. It's so fucking fire. You're opening. I did some like guest hosting with you. You had the most amazing guest, Lucas Max on there, the number one breath coach in the world. Coming up, you have some of the craziest stars on your show. Like I'm, it's so exciting like life moves fast but by the way like be a woman to a man who is an asset don't be a fucking liability like i show up every day how can i better our life together so somebody it might be in their mind shit they got their names tattooed after like a week they fucking moved in on which like, is her crazy ass yeah. she woke up like i want your name tatted on me i'm like you're lying and why are you trying to play with me right now? Stop playing. Like, you ain't getting no tattoos. You don't even got no tattoos. And she's like, uh, you, well, I already set up the, the tattoo session. We're in London, too, by the way. We're in London. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? All right, let's go to, let's go to this tattoo session and see if you really going to get a tattoo. And this woman was not lying. So I had to get it on my face. <laughs> straight so up. it's just like one, it's one of those things that i i'm always like i'm very spontaneous and i love that i have a spontaneous woman right here that's just like me that we think of something well yeah let's go do it let's go have fun yeah and i think that's the best thing it's like it's no empathy it's no nothing it's just pure just off the rip and just being ourselves and just letting our thoughts flow and, i love that and mm. we do like everyone around us is elevated our friends you the, the one thing that really touched my heart was the way that your friends come to you and me and they're like he's so happy like that on my side was what touched me like people say i've never seen him like this i haven't seen him like this for so long you've just like just the two of you together are a fucking power couple like or actual friends okay it's written about all over the press hollywood's latest power couple whatever but that and doesn't you know me i do not give, give a, a shit a but I, no the point is i don't give a fuck the thing i care about is our friends and family right. who are like, you two are very special together. I love that we just have our connection so much. Like apart from all this camera shit, like this shit doesn't make us, you know, like the relationship we have is obviously rating aiding and you can see that. You can see the energy. It's like a, it's just like a light oh, walking it's... right when we walk on the street. It's like, wait, what is that? I just <laughs> seen that. It's, it's natural and it's organic. So like all this cameras and it, like, Beyond that, like, I want to see myself with you forever. So it's like, I don't want to, I like, I tell people straight up, like, I don't have to be famous. I don't want to be, like, I didn't choose to be famous. 
Like it, it chose, you, it chose me. Like I didn't star, choose it. Honey. Like oh I just love making God. music. I just yeah. want to make music. That's it. And you love to give people good energy every day. Like you love to be a coach to. Um, like I've watched. I've witnessed you, like literally change people's lives in front of my face just by giving them the motivation and the scripting and the the positive energy that you have is so magical. It's just beauty, you know. So we both have that, and it's just natural and. Fuck all the haters. If y'all think, if y'all saying anything about my girl, y'all out here doing all that weird shit, trying to put documentaries out and shit, I will come for your head, Top P. Remember that. <laughs> remember oh, that. Fucking love my like, man. remember that. Like, this is a beautiful woman. She, I've witnessed her work so hard. Witness her work every single day to please other people, and that's that's a that's a gift. Like, she's so self like she's not selfish at all she's selfless like she has so much selflessness that's amazing to me so oh, fuck you if you out here trying to come at my wife i love you baby you're so beautiful let me give you a kiss mm -hmm. i love you mm -hmm. can you believe it oh it's my god sit down baby <laughs> it started there and now i just kissed him imagine if i'd done that on episode one like tyler it was such a pleasure to meet you i'll see you soon <laughs> That is something I would do. I hope we're still rolling. Because that is something I would do. Ah, and you I'll, would do that. But you said you had a situation. You was about to do it. You was like, come here. Yeah, I would have just grabbed your face and said, should we just try and <laughs> see? I did that, though, about like other shit. Like, anyway, so now I've had my hair braided, you lot. Oh, she, like yeah, it. she switched that conversation <laughs> quick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> She's crazy. Put it in the comments below if you like my hair braided. I wanted to match my man. I'm doing it for like two weeks. Your hair looks fire. We just we have the same hairstylist. His hairstylist now is mine. See, that's the shit we wake up every day. It's like nails, fucking hair, event, meditate, 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 script, goals. You're performing. I'm speaking. Boom. Like life is fun. Hey man, it's nothing funner than this. I ain't gonna lie. Enjoy the ride, cause I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Until next time, we love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can now go over and listen to Tyler's podcast. Hit the link below, The Life We Chose. You are going to love it. If you love this, now you're going to hear it from a man's perspective about the law of attraction. Ciao, see you soon.